we're going to be talking about AI. So, you know, chat GPT and all that stuff. So as well as just in general, how to automate uh, better. But I think that's really a hot topic now. You know, one thing we're going to talk about is kind of uh, highlighting the article you wrote, which is about calendaring the Calendly yeah. system. A lot of questions I want to ask you about that. But since yeah. you did mention chat GPT, how deep have you gotten into that and other kind of AI software? Yeah, um, you know, I mean, it's kind of addictive, right? Once you start using it, you really can find so many uses for it. I think the key in making that work is really recognizing that you can't use it verbatim, but it can certainly give you some ideas. Yeah. And I've just found uh, several uses for it. Um, what I thought was really interesting, and this was demoed to me by another uh, immigration attorney, um, and I thought this was cool that you could actually plug in the facts of your client's declaration statement and tell ChatGPT to write this in a declaration format mm -hmm. for a uh, asylum case. Maybe it's a yeah. declaration statement of, you know, how they've been harmed. And it'll actually put it into the format. It'll even do the beginning part. You know, I declare under the penalty of perjury yeah. and all that. Put point number one, point number two, and kind of make sense of a whole bunch of stuff that you may have fed it. So I think Chat ChatGPT is really good at summarizing, maybe making something more easier to read and understandable. And you just have to converse with it like you're talking to a person. It, it seems yeah. to work better that way. So, um, but there is some cool stuff coming out. Uh, I'll give you a little hint that at the AILA National Conference, there's going to be a vendor. Uh, somebody that I know who's developed uh, an AI system based on the chat GPT technology for asylum brief writing and specifically for immigration attorneys where the system has been fed the information so that it'll be correct, right? Because that's the fear is asking chat GPT to do something and then it can tend to make things up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've had that. I've, I've, I've done research through it. I've, I've, between the, the toolbox itself, I've been working with developers to try to create a system to use ChatGPT or AI systems. And it's hard because feeding the information for them to understand it's hard. Um, and in one sense, I was like, because I have a, a friend that do this. So I try on the consumer end, but it's too risky. Like, for example, like have a citizenship chat box there um, or, or just something general. People like what is don't know what to even ask. So they might need a green card and they they uh they mean naturalization, but they just always say citizenship. You know, I want my citizenship right. have a child right. on my website. Exactly. And so it, it's really hard to fine tune it. So I went down the toolbox side, which is business to business, which is like our peers, so they know to have some um, you know, ability to discern what's right and wrong and to research themselves. But even within that, it just so gets so complex. So I had to like narrow down the area of law, narrow it down more and more, just start small. Uh, but when it comes to legal stuff, it's still hard to have something that's, it, it can be a general tool, but it's, it's hard to get that this, uh, exact. I'm interested, I'm going to be in, uh, in, um, in Orlando as well on a Saturday and talking about uh, you know social media and, and marketing. So I definitely got to check that vendor out to see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exciting. I mean, it's a whole new world out there, right? You know, I mean, I don't think yeah. we're anywhere near to being replaced as of yet, but yeah. we can use it ourselves as a tool to do our own work more efficiently as long as we recognize the limitations. Yeah, it just to make it more powerful. It's like it's like having a car instead of walking somewhere. You're gonna get farther exactly. you get more stuff. And that's that's right. the best way to take it. And it might take away some more work, but it, it, at the same time it always creates more work. Maybe you know it it takes away from our we have more bandwidth to get more clients because more people will our lowers our price and more people will come. There's all sorts of different ways to look at it as long as you right. just use it right. You know, I right. recently, um, how should I put this? So there's a lot of software out there for note-taking this and that. I've heard about Notion being a really good software and I tried it once, I couldn't understand it, but I was listening to some other people and I'm like, it's great. So I really just got into Notion, um, this app, uh, like a yeah. week now and I'm getting more and more into it and I'm plugging it in. And it has an AI within it, and I don't know how to use it exactly. But sometimes I mistakenly use it, and it comes out some really good stuff. So, I'm so <laughs> have you heard of Notion? I mean, I do. Are you? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, I wasn't aware of the AI component added to it, which I'm sure makes it even more powerful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it reads what you're doing, and like makes a nicer format, it snaps, uh, synopses it, and stuff. So, like, I'm I'm just doing the basics right now, how to like create a you know. It's essentially, I used to always type and I'd still do in Excel and Microsoft Word or Google Word doc and stuff like that. 
but it's like all those in one, but shareable, much more flexible. Uh, so yeah. it's a pretty amazing kind of software they have there. And so I'm just really yeah. plugging in. And I'm using the free version too. I haven't even paid for a paid version. I'm not sure what that entails. So yeah. uh, if it works, I'm going to have my team get it. It's just kind of hard because you have to add so many different, you have so many different things on my team. And my 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 associate was like, are we going to add another piece of software? That's like, I'm getting overwhelmed already. I'm like, well, I'm going to test it out. It's really good. We'll do yeah. it. How is your team handling all the various softwares that you have? Well, yeah, we're mainly based on using Monday, monday.com as our platform. And we find that that works really well because Monday is really like a giant set of Excel spreadsheets, right? You can right. have different boards as they call them. And we have all our cases tracked there. We have all of our uh, statuses for every case type track. And it's really easy to assign tasks, to send emails that are automated. And it's just great for reminding us of things to do. So, um, and I, as you know, offer coaching on, on Monday or other tech systems. Yeah. You can always do that and book that. Your website has a good breakdown of the programs and stuff. Well, what's your, what's your website that's for training? on? Yeah, this kind so of the website is tiplawyers.com. And the Facebook group is also TIP, which basically stands for Technology for Immigration Practitioners. So you can join the Facebook group, you can direct message me, or you can go to tiplawyers.com and you can book a session with me there. What, what do you use for communication? Do you have Slack or, because Trello, I mean, I, I Trello, but Monday uh, yeah. is, is so great. We communicate, we communicate within Monday on casework. So we do use Slack occasionally when maybe I just have to tell somebody something really quickly. It may not even be necessarily related to a case. So we always have our Slack open, but Monday is our key method of communicating on a case. So we can tag yeah. each other. We can tell each other things to do. Uh, we keep the write. record in order. So yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah.